Greg Fraser here, uh, bringing you back another technique to work on for the uh, Boss Rootin' System. I love this thing, it's really great. This is one of the best tools I've found as far as being able to deliver uppercuts, shovel punches and stuff where it feels more like a body that rather than just a heavy bag that you're laying into. Okay, you want that sort of reflex and a feel of the way somebody really feels when you hit them. All right, so this one today, we're gonna to work on just a very base pattern for you, okay? We're keeping them simple. This one is simply jab, cross, hook. You're gonna go, this time we're gonna move with the hook as opposed to just going and staying in the center. Okay, the reason for that is if I stay within these two arms or within these arms, I'm in their punching zone. I don't wanna be in their punching zone, okay? So you always want to angle yourself outside or work yourself outside so that you're able to later come in and deploy more advanced techniques, okay? So don't be a punching bag. Don't sit in their punch zone. Rule number one. All right, so right here, we're going to just start off. A couple notes. Yes, there's a bunch of kinds of hooks. But my favorite and the most effective hook is this one where you're coming on a 45, basically lining up the angle of their jaw with your knuckles. Okay, so again, don't punch from your hands down here where you're throwing and you're throwing up into your punches. Sink down into your punch before you launch them. Think of it as like having a scope, you know, so you're sitting down, you're looking through the crosshairs and you're working that jab. Throw them from the eyes as much as possible. So, throwing from the eyes, we got our jab, we got a cross, your choice of cross. I like the overhand because it tilts my head outside slightly, okay, and it loads this position right right here for the uppercut I'm gonna do. Now as I'm doing this one, we're gonna travel with it, okay? So the key is one, two, notice the rotation, pivot, knee pivots, pivot in. When I go from here, the moment that this impact hits is the moment this foot should be landing. From here, I'm gonna pivot, I'm gonna twist my body, crank it heavily, loading. See that load? Nice and tight. I really create that corkscrew. I'm gonna come from the face, not a big punch, turn through with the hook. If you like, you can do the Tyson hook where you're bringing knuckle, elbow through. Love that for street boxing, okay? And then you're gonna work your way back in. So again, starting off, nice and easy. One, two, knees twist. Step with the punch, wind, back in. For those of you southpaws, opposite sides. You can just see from this side. One, two, okay, staying low, hook as you move, twist back in, boom, and I recommend a safety jab on your way out, which is a swing step. Okay, so let's look at this, back in, we're in, one, two, move, one, pop, get your way back up, or one, two, move, pop, and then work yourself off the line, which later will give us these bridging techniques, and you can apply your cheese out boxing and everything that comes out of that once you get those going. So again, one more time. Getting in, set down into your punch, okay? Try to bring your weight back before you deliver. That's gonna give you that explosive takeoff, okay? It's not that I have my feet flat on the ground, I hear a lot of that. If I have my feet on the ground, my heels on the ground, I'm no longer using the muscle of my calves, okay? Which means I'm not really using the muscles of my legs. If I'm not on the balls of my feet, I don't get the rotation, I don't get the torque, I don't get the real power. If I want to put my heels down, yes, I can punch a nice hard strength style karate punch. The only problem with this is I'm planted. Somebody kicks me in the leg, I'm done. Somebody goes to the takedown, I'm done. I'm planted, okay? No wide stances, none of this karate stuff either. Keep your feet under you, sink, work your jab across, move, Wine, boom, if you want safety, and later in, working your angles from here. Okay, back up, again. One, two, pop, here, boom. Switch your stance if you want. One, two, pop, here, boom. Here's my safety if I want up. Coming in, so this is a good way to, so I got something high. This is a good way to work on switch stance movements, okay? So if you're just coming, bang, boom through, work your way back in. And here we go. So I'll just give you a couple of these again from this side, because it's probably easiest for you to see. So, one, two, oh, boom, work your way. One, two, 
Okay. Good. One, two. Boom. You can change your angle. Pop the head up. So there's that force. Boom. Here. Boom. Okay. Get that snap. Good. Boom. Then you move outside. Work your way in. All right, guys. So that's the next technique. As you can see, we'll be able to really build this up for you as we go. But I really like this tool. So if you're interested, I should have a listing on purchasing this down below.